welcome to the channel. It's called Keep Low, K W E P slash L O. Keep Low Productions is the company. I am the CEO, Lashin Turner. I'd like you to subscribe, like, and share. Hit the notification bell and thumbs up bell. I appreciate everybody for rocking out with me. And if you'd like to get your Keep Low Production shirts, hit me in the comment section. Serious inquiries only. And thank you for rocking with the channel, which is called Keep Low. I appreciate you all. And I'd like you to enjoy the video. Thank you for rocking with Keep Low. Hit me in the comment section if you'd like to get your Keep Low Production shirts. We got all sizes and colors available. You can go to www.keeploadproductions.com. You heard me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. That helps me out. Yo, Keep Low is definitely in effect. What's good with y'all? Yo, check it out. Today, I just, you know, wanted to drop this little video on y'all. Check it. Look, yo, out of Alpo AZ in rich porter i want to say that alpo by far is definitely the hungrier one and maybe it's because when he met rich porter and az they already had money yeah it's definitely no doubt that alpo was the more aggressive one out of az rich and Alpo, but it's maybe, like I said, it's maybe because Alpo was more hungrier because when he came to them, Rich and AZ was already eating. You feel me, dig me? And yo, if you ain't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, it's called Keep Low. Furthermore, yo, they always fly dudes in their own way. You feel me? And I told you about that before. And yo, for those who don't know, Alpo Martinez, AZ Faison and Richard Porter were all drug kingpins who grew up in Harlem and they were doing their thing in the early 80s to the early to mid 90s and they all were millionaires in their teenage years and they just were unique individuals so this is the storyline that I'm giving you on them and this is just the real shit you feel me yeah so um like Poe Al Poe he was doing things his own way, which I really like. But when he saw opportunities to capitalize, he did it. He definitely took advantage of those. And he'll tell you in his own words that, yo, when I seen A and Rich, yo, I had an opportunity to run a jukebox or to do different things, that he was really about that business. And that's why you got to admire his hustling skills. You feel me? And I'm not, I'm not saying the murders and all that. I'm just saying how he really get money. You feel me? Don't get me wrong. This is taking nothing from Rich Porter or AZ Faison. Because like I said, A and Rich was already eating. And Alpo tell you that in his own words. That, you know, like, um, they was already large and shit when he met them. You know what I mean? And he knew that it was an opportunity for him to elevate. You feel me? So he took advantage of them. No, nobody no, took advantage of the opportunity. But nobody can fault him for that. You feel me? But what you got to acknowledge and some will admire that he was aggressive to get the money. You feel me? To get the money. And I'm not saying all money is good money, but he was aggressive to get the money. You feel me? And I'm not talking about the murder shit. Even though he had to do the murder shit, that's part of it, you feel me? And look, those a lot of people might not agree with me that that's part of it. Y'all get in the comment section and tell me what y'all think of it. But if if you, and this is just for educational purposes. But if you're a drug dealer, a big time drug dealer, or any kind of drug dealer, violence might come, and you got to be prepared for that. The 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 best time to prepare for war is when everything's peace. That's just common sense. You feel me? Yo, peep game. Yo, this lost in the guard. Keep loaded company. Fuck with me, man. I got y'all. Yo, for real. This is just some real shit. And yo, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribing. Just rock out with Keep Low. I got more for y'all.